Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and like I said last time, we are going to pick up with uh, for loops and more about, we're going to learn more about um, the range function. Just like I said last time, range is a function predetermined in Python, and it is used with numbers so you can have a, a grouping. So we'll just go ahead and get started with this. So number in range 10. So now if I can type, all right, print number. So all right, we know a little bit about this where number, number, same variable. So all right, we have our for loop. We have in, and it's going to be in this grouping. And what this is right here, see how range is 10? Excuse me, how range is purple? And we're using a number 10. So, all right, in Python, the first number is 0. The starting point is 0. And we're going to learn more about, about this. So, all right, so how many numbers came out? First, we'll look at it and we'll say 9, right? Because 9 is right sitting right here. Well, 0 is important too. So it gets counted. So that is actually 10 numbers because we typed in here, our starting point is zero. And actually this function can actually take in three arguments. And the first one is start. If it has all three, it's start, stop, and finish. So all right, this, is, this term, this number is considered exclusive, not included. So if we were to if I were to want 1 through 10 to come out, now, this right here, start, stop, and step. Now, if it only takes one argument, it's just the stopping point, but it's exclusive. So if I wanted, if I wanted 0 through 10 to come out, I would have to go to 11. Now, so I get my 0 through 10. But now let's say I want 1 through 10. This is how we would do this. My start, my stop, because I have to go to 10, excuse me, I have to go to 11 because it's excluded. So that's how I'll get 1 through 10 to come out. 1 through 10. So that's how you go about that. Now, now let's say I want only the even numbers to come out. So let's do starting point is 2, 2 through 10. So I still have to get 11. But now, this part, the step right here, interval. I want to go up by 2s like your times tables. Like so. So, all right. That is the range function. And we're going to start doing a lot more with this. And this is how you use it. If it's just one number, it's the stop. Starting at zero, then going through and up to but not including exclusive the stop is exclusive so and this is how you you use all three arguments start stop step all right hope you guys got something out of this we're going to start really doing a lot more we're going to use this same start stop step we're going to do some things with slicing with more with strings next time all right thanks everybody thanks for watching